Right, so what we're gonna do is just um, gonna come pop over this little vertical twice off the left. You can come, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can come on the other side of that little um, yellow oxer there so that you get nice and straight. Okay, cool. Just come twice off the left and then we're gonna come twice off the right over that oxer okay, cool. that way, okay? And just nice, easy canter. Just put him in a nice place where you don't feel like you need to push him at the fence where you've got the canter organized before you get there. That's okay. Let's do one more time. And this time when you arrive at the fence, I want you to think about having your leg just hugging him a little more and you're gonna keep your chin up and stretch tall so that if he looks, you're not looking down with him. Maybe just sink into the saddle a little bit. There you go. And just have your leg hugging him nicely. One nice, easy rhythm. Stay really tall. Very good, super. All right, let's do the oxer off the right. And the way you rode that was beautiful. Let's do the same to the oxer. That was perfect. <clears throat> It's fine, it's because he's really careful, which is quite normal to be fair for a lot of careful horses. <clears throat> I wouldn't let it bother you too much, just be aware of it so you mesh it into your warm up. So yeah, just nice hugging legs, stay tall. Good. One more time and think just at the base of the fence, you're just gonna allow with your hand a tiny bit more. Not throw it all away, but just a little bit more allowing. Yeah, super, super, super. That was a great jump. It's a little bit the same like yesterday. Sometimes if you have that bit too much hand, he jumps up and into your hand. Whereas there he goes front end, back end and makes a lovely shape. So that's what we're trying to achieve a little bit and teach him that he can do that. So what we're gonna do now is do, this is actually a five stride line, but we're gonna do it in six. Just trying to teach him to be one level stride. So think about what counter you need to jump the first fence so that the six is easy. Okay, yeah. and you know, even if you have to work a little bit, whoa, whoa, that's fine. It's good for them at this age to have to compress themselves a little bit and be adjustable. <clears throat> so nice, easy canter, not too much push because it is a bit short. That's good. And just keep squeezing on the reins if you need to adjust him, not holding. Whoa. Good, well done, super. Now we're gonna go the opposite way, the oxer to the vertical, which will be a little bit tougher. And then I actually want you to just land in a nice straight line and walk again like you did. That's perfect. Easy, just package him a little bit more. And now soften. Great. Very good. Well done. Um, so you want to be very packaged up, manage the canter, jump, and you'll probably want to sit up, whoa. And the idea is that hopefully you can shorten him and then you can allow again. So he just finds his way and starts to think about his feet. Right. Thinks about like, oh, I can back up and shorten my body. And if he's a little bit spooky, just be in that position where you can sit really tall and just be hugging him with your leg, not pushing him. So shorten the reins a little, there you go. And just try and package him up so it's not too hard for him. That's good. Easy. Cool. Good. Good, well done, super.
Good boy. Right, I'm just gonna tighten these up a little. We're gonna do it one more time because I think this is really good for him. He sort of figured it out by the last one and then did a really good job of that one. Oh, yes, please. That'd be great. Good boy. Right, one more time through there. Just the same, that was a good ride in. And then hopefully he's gonna be thinking about it already because now he knows the distances. And allow, good. And allow again. Oh, good boy. And walk and pat him. What a good boy. The last jump was beautiful. Like he really just wrapped himself around it in a lovely way. Really nice. Good boy. Right, we're just gonna let him breathe for a minute and then we're gonna do, um, we'll actually pop through our little bounces and then we'll do a course, if that sounds good. Has he done some bounces? Okay, great. So what we're gonna do um, in a sec, we'll just, I, I like to kind of throw this in sometimes after they've done a bit, because it just makes them a little quicker. Yes, it does. So we'll come off the right rein, pop through there, land, turning, circle through, sort of like a big circle, okay? And if you think it'll be spooky the first time, you can just get him a little straighter the first time, okay. so he sees them, because uh, of the filler's under there. We'll do that twice off the right and twice off the left. Okay. And all the time thinking that ideally we're trying to just sweep in and then keep it a big circle so that he lands on the correct lead. And just be that nice and tall in your body with your leg around him just in case he does look, then you're in the right place. Good. Tall. That's okay, that's fine. Just make sure you keep your chin up and stay tall so that he doesn't pull you over with him a little bit. Totally fine, he was a good boy. So don't override him this time, he's seen it now. So you're just gonna support with the leg but not push him. And give. Good, one more time off the right. And this time just circle in. Make it a little bit um, smaller circle. Yeah, more of a real circle. And still just allowing at the fence, let him find his feet, it's totally fine. Easy. And allowing, perfect. Don't worry that he landed on the wrong lead, he was just thinking really hard about his feet. Right, let's go off the left. And just this time when you land off the left, literally be thinking you're gonna open the rein and circle him in. That'll help him land on the correct lead. Good, now he knows the job, so now you gotta come in a little quieter so he doesn't over jump in. That was very good though. So just be brave enough to keep it a little bit more packaged up. It's quite a short bounce. That's good. Now he knows the job, you don't have to push him at it. Easy, ooh. Good boy. Good boy, super. Well done, this sort of stuff's good for him, just footwork stuff. Cause he got all the power in the world and now he's gotta learn that he can like quicken up and shorten and all those things. Exactly. Good boy. We're gonna now do this in the five. Okay. So think about what canter you need to make that easy that you're not chasing him. Um, and it is kind of a normal five, so it should be fine. And then you're gonna come around the turn, get organized, do your one stride here, okay. bending five back to the vertical. Awesome. Okay, and then <clears throat> from there, you're gonna jump the little pickle jump, two strides to the vertical, three strides to the oxer. Okay. Then again, down the gears, organize him, package him, and we're gonna do the short threes to finish. Awesome. So that if he gets a little long in you, then we're saying now you shorten up again. It'll right. be kind of hard for him, but it'll be very good for him. Yeah, okay.
That's okay. Okay, walk a second. It's fine, just let him walk a second, think about it. And then we're just gonna do this again. It's totally fine. So this time when you ride up to it, just again, think the squeezing hand, not holding him. And then you're gonna just, that little soften within the feel we did before and let him, if he makes a mistake, then he makes a mistake. Doesn't matter. Yeah. But hopefully he's learned from that because he's super careful. Yeah. So let's do that again. And he found the five really easy. So you don't, you don't need to rock in there too forward. It's, it is an easy five. It's not a big five. So a little bit softening through the mouth. Sinking around him again if you can, because I think that's better for him. There you go. Good. That's good. Little bit of bend here. Soften him through the mouth. Really tall. Good. Really tall. Nice. Again, a little bit bending, softening, work him through the turn a little so you keep his body. Tall and leg on. It's fine. Tall and give. Yeah, good. And now find your lead and then organize that canter a little more. Easy, soften him through the mouth. There you go. Whoa. Whoa. Give. Oh, good boy. That's okay. He still made a great shape because you allowed him, even though you had to work a little bit to shorten him, he still made a beautiful shape through them. That was great. Really great. And he had a tiny little rub here and actually did him good because then his jump was incredible. Right. It was awesome. Right. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to come do the vertical bending five to this. Then we're going to roll around and do your yellow oxer three to two. Okay. And then we're going to go outside line again on the five. And then you're going to shorten him down the gears, down the gears, and do our threes to finish. Okay, I'm not going to put those up because that's enough of a challenge for him and yeah. he's being really careful, so. Really hard no, hard. and he doesn't need that right now. The question is good enough for him right yeah. now. Yeah. So if, if he lays that one out because he's a bit asleep, then just finish what you're doing, walk, and then we'll just repeat it. Okay. Cool. okay? Good boy. And here, when you're just cantering around, just work him a little through his body, keep your leg around him, and just put him in the best place possible. That's good. Leg. Very good, super. Bend him here a little bit, inside leg, there you go. Really tall. Good. Nice. Again, keep riding through the turn. Don't just let him amble. Soften him a little through his mouth. Put your leg on. There you go. That's good. Okay, get your lead quickly so that you can get him organized and packaged. Easy. Well done. Commit to the deeper distance. Whoa. Keep thinking whoa. Whoa. Good. That's fine. Good lad. Let's just do the, the threes one more time just to fix that. I know it's really hard for him after the other things he's done, but this is where he's going to learn to be a better horse. Yep. 
You were right to be shortening him there. You just needed a tiny bit more leg where he's getting tired. But that's what he needs to learn is he can have leg and still be shorter and powerful. That's good. Well done. Ooh. Use your voice, Wool. What a good boy. That was great. That was the perfect ride with your leg. That's what you sometimes need to remember is not, you don't just land off the fence and just let him roll. It, take that opportunity to still ride him, you know, a little bit, like sink in, put your leg on him, make him come through from behind.